Good morning, everyone. We're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video. I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey. And today we're going to be going over Newton's second law of motion, which is the law of force equals mass times acceleration. Let's begin. So what is force? Force is a push or a pull that one body exerts on another. Everything is exerting a force on everything else. So for example, you have one force, which is a push, and then your other force, which would be a pull. If the force of a push and pull is greater than the force that the object applies on it, then the object is going to move. Then we take a look at mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. For example, even though the they may be the same size. A bowling ball has more mass than a balloon because it has more matter inside of it. Then if we take a look at acceleration, acceleration is the change in velocity of an object. The object either speeds or, or slows down. So for example, a car accelerating when the traffic light turns green and vice versa if the traffic light turns red, that means the car would actually slow down. So now let's take a look at Newton's second law of motion. And Newton's second law of motion can be remembered by a simple equation, which is force equals mass times acceleration. And the unit for force is Newton's. And then our unit for mass would actually be measured in kilograms. So I abbreviated kg. And then our unit for acceleration, now write out acceleration, is going to be seen as meters per second per second or you'll see it as meters per second squared they both mean the same thing so let's take a look at the relationship between force mass and acceleration and if you notice in this first picture right here the more force that is applied the more acceleration and then the less force that is applied the less acceleration and we take a look at the second uh, picture between mass force and acceleration. Notice that the man is pushing an empty cart. So the cart is able to accelerate or move faster because the cart is empty. It doesn't have a lot of mass in it. But if you notice, when the cart has mass in it or has these books or objects in it, then the cart accelerates slower because the more mass there is, the less the acceleration and the more force that needs to be applied. So if you take a look right here, he didn't accelerate as fast in this picture, but if you look in this picture, he applied more force right here, which caused this cart with these books and objects in it to accelerate faster. So the more mass, the less acceleration, that means the more force must be applied in order for the object to accelerate at a faster rate. So let's take a look at some examples of Newton's second law of motion. And if you notice, the man was running to the right, and then the other man came in from the left. So we're simply looking at force, mass, and acceleration. So he applied an extreme amount of force using his mass and acceleration, which caused this man to go flying backwards. And then let's take another look at force, mass, and acceleration. So if you notice, the man applies an extreme amount of force to the man, other man, and he uppercuts the man and causes the man to accelerate backwards. So extreme amount of force, then mass and acceleration, which causes this, this man to fall backwards. And then if we look at our last picture, once again, force, mass, acceleration, he applied an extreme amount of force with his mass and his large amount of acceleration, which caused the other football player to go falling backwards. And the reason why I showed you this is because you see Newton's second law of motion all the time in sports. So now let's take a look at these problems right here. And you're going to solve for the missing variable. I'll do the first problem and I'll let you continue with the rest. So we have, we don't have know what our net force is. So I'm gonna put a question mark beside it because that's what we're solving for. But our mass is two kilograms and our acceleration is five meters per second squared. So we're solving for force in this first problem. So if I was to cover force up, that would leave us with mass times acceleration. So if I look, two kilograms times five meters per second, that means our force would end up being 10 newtons because remember, force is measured in newtons. So ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go ahead and finish the rest of the problems. And I'm going to give you four minutes to do so. 
And I'll walk around from your desk, from desk to desk to make sure that you're able to solve the problems and help anyone that needs to solve the problems. So you can go ahead and begin now. So now let's look at a word problem for Newton's second law of motion. And if we notice in our word problem, it asks us how much force is needed to accelerate a 1200 kilogram car, three meters per second per second. So first let's go, let's look at it. It says how much force. So we know that we're solving for force because it's asking us how much force. So that's our unknown variable. It's needed to accelerate a 1200 kilogram car. 1200 kilograms is referring to our mass. And then it says three meters per second per second. Three meters per second per second or three meters per second squared. That's referring to our acceleration. So first, we're going to write our formula. Our formula is force equals mass times acceleration. And then we're going to fill in the given numbers and units. So we have force, which we don't know what it is, equals our mass, which is 1200 kilograms, and I abbreviate it, 1200 kg, times our acceleration which is three meters per second squared and then it says solve for the unknown so remember force equals mass times acceleration so we're just going to solve for force so we're going to take 1200 kilograms and we're going to multiply it by three meters per second squared and that should give us a force of 3600 Newtons because remember force is measured in Newtons So now let's take another look at Newton's second law and Newton's second law proves that different masses Accelerate to the earth at the same rate, but with different forces So we know that objects with different masses accelerate to the ground at the same rate and that rate of acceleration is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared on earth and this can change if we was on a different planet or if we was on the moon. But on Earth, that rate of acceleration to Earth is always 9.8 meters per second squared for following objects. However, because of the second law, we know that they don't hit the ground with the same force. So let's take a look. We have a rock with a mass of 10 kilograms right here. And then we have a rock with a mass of 1 kilogram right here. And the force of gravity ends up being 98 newtons for this rock right here. Why? Because force equals mass times acceleration. So we take our 10 and multiply it by 9.8. And the 10 times the 9.8 is what gives us 98 newtons right here. And then if we look at the mass of this rock. We take that 1 kilogram and multiply it by 9.8. And that's what ends up giving us that force of 9.8 newtons right here but if we look our acceleration is going to be our force divided by our mass so we take 98 and divide it by 9.8 or 98 divided by 10 and that's going to give us an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared for this first rock right here and then if we notice our acceleration is going to be our force divided by our mass so we're going to take 99.8 newtons right here and then divide it by our mass, which is one kilogram. If you notice, we get an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared right here as well. So if we take a look at it, they accelerate at the same rate to the ground, even though they have different masses. And now it's time for your check for understanding. So you're going to go ahead and read each one of the word problems, set up your formula, and then you're going to input the information they give you and solve for the missing variable. So you're either going to be missing force, mass, and or acceleration. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son Jordan Spivey. And I hope this tutorial on force, mass, and acceleration or Newton's second law of motion was helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a wonderful, awesome, positive day. Peace.